Hello, so today we are going to talk about the conditional tense, which in French is called le conditionnel. And as we can see by our little definition here, this tense talks about hypothetical or imagined events. So what this means is we're not talking about something that is definitely going to happen. We're talking about something that might happen or could happen um, if something else happens as well. So for example, in English, we would say usually the word would when using the conditional tense. So for example, we want to start our conditional in English with a pronoun. So I, he, you, they. Then we want the word would. And then after that, we want the infinitive, which is just the original version of our verb before any conjugations. So for example, I would like to travel. That is a conditional tense. We would finish the race is also a conditional tense. So when it comes to conjugating the conditional tense in French, um, we want to keep two things in mind. So the first thing we need to talk about is our stem. Now, if we remember, the stem is the part of the verb that we then add the ending onto. So when it comes to the conditional tense, we want to use the same stems that we use for the future tense. So a little reminder, if we can't remember, this is super easy for both verbs ending in ER and IR, we want to just use the infinitive. So we don't change the base verb all, the infinitive stays as our stem. So if we have a look at our first example, for our ER verb, we have parler which is to speak. Because this is an ER verb and we know we keep the infinitive as the stem, we know that we're going to start our conjugation with the verb parler and then we're going to add our ending onto that. Now, speaking of our endings, for the conditional tense, we want to use the imperfect tense endings. So. Let's have another look through these, just in case we can't quite remember. So the imperfect tense endings go a, a, i, s, and then the same again, a, a, i, s. Then we have a with the exact same pronunciation, but with a t instead. Then we have ion, then i, and then a. Okay, so we've got these here, just to remember. Now, if we go back to our ER verb and um, we was uh, as always we're starting with je so we have we want to say I would speak we know that our stem is the infinitive so we know that our stem is parler and we know that the ending for je in the imperfect tense is a i s so we add that to our stem and then we get je parlerai okay let's do the next one so again, we know that we have an ER verb, which means that our stem is the infinitive, parler, and then we want to add our ending, which is the same as for je. So again, we end up with tout parlerai. Okay? Next one, we go to il or l. So if we want to say she would speak, he would speak, then we know we want again our infinitive stem, parler, and this time we want to add a i t to the ending. So this verb, il parlerait, you can hear sounds exactly the same as the um, je and tu form. The only difference is we have that t on the end instead of the s. Okay, amazing. So then we get to nous. Like always, we want the infinitive parler as our stem. And then we want to add our ion which then gives us nous parlerions, okay? Nous parlerions. Similarly, with vous, we want our stem, parler, and then we want to add our ending, ie, parlerier, okay? And our last one, stem, parler, ending, a, i, e, n, t, which is again pronounced e, so like the first three verbs, we end up with parler. So 
all of our conditional ER verbs. Je parlerai, tu parlerai, il parlerai, nous parlerions, vous parleriez, il or elle parlerait. So, as you can see with these ones, a lot of them sound very similar. Pronunciation, very similar, whereas the spelling is the thing that changes it. So, we feel in confidence so far. Yeah, amazing. Let's now move on to our IR verbs, which, as you'll see very quickly, is pretty much the same as our ER verbs. We know that for our IR verbs, we want the infinitive as the stem. So here we have finir, to finish. So we know we want to start with je finir, and then we add our ending, finire. With tu, we want our stem finir, add our ending, tu finire. This time, finir et, with our t. And then we move on to nous finir ion. Nous finirions. And then we go to nous finir ie. And finally, finir e. So, ia and ia verbs are very much the same. We just take our infinitive as the stem, add on the ending. Then we come to our re verbs. So, our example here is vendre to sell. Now, if we have a look at our future tense stem, when we have an re verb, we want to use the infinitive, but also get rid of the minus, the last e. So we want to minus that final e. So for our example here, vendre is our infinitive, and then to get rid of this last e, we then get our stem, which is vendre, just without the e on the end. So let's have a look at conjugating this one. So we know our stem is going to be vendre, and then we want to add our ending, so we get vendre. This is exactly the same for two. We want vendre as our infinitive, as our stem, sorry. And then we add our ending, vendre. Again, vendre, this time with a T. And then again, vendrions, vendre et. And finally, vendre. Okay? So, super simple when it comes to your regular verbs. Either we want the infinitive or the infinitive minus e, and we add the ending. And those endings are the same for all three verbs. Like always with French, we do have a lot of irregulars. Today we're just going to have a look at our most important with avoir and être, and then next time we'll have a look at some, some of the more complicated ones. But like you'll already know, avoir and être, they come up all the time, so we need to make sure that we know how to conjugate these verbs. So... The thing that makes these ones irregular is, as you'll be able to see here, is that they have different stems. So we don't stick with the infinitive, we don't keep the infinitive but minus the e, we have a completely new stem. So we end up with or, so je, or, e, with our ending, the same, je, or, e, il, or, e, with a t, then we have nous aurions, vous auriez, and il aurait. Okay? So you can see, even with these irregulars, it's pretty much following the same pattern. We just need to remember what that stem is. Same for être. Our stem is ser, S E R. So then we end up with je serai, tu serai. Il serait, with a T, nous serions, vous seriez, and finally, il serait. Perfect. So, the very final thing I want to talk about is one thing we want to be super careful with, is getting confused between the imperfect tense and the conditional tense. Even though these conjugations have the same ending, we want to remember that the stems will be different. So whereas for the imperfect, we have parler, the conditional, we have parlerai. So we have this little infinitive ending in there. The same with uh, IR verbs, we have finissier, which then becomes finirier. And one that is super, super simple for our difference 
is the imperfect version of vendre. In the third person plural is vendre. Whereas in the conditional, we have this extra little r from the stem that becomes vendre. Okay. So that's a super brief overview on the conditional tense. And next time we'll look at having a look into getting some practice within these.